That's right. We don't need her anymore. Lads, welcome back to Fusion YGO, and in case you thought that bit was fake, absolutely not. I am not kidding. We don't need this card anymore. Scrap is still very much in power. We still have a lot of things going for it, and with the new Link ones that have been announced recently for Orcist, as well as Clockwork Knight, just take this deck to a whole new level. So today's not exactly going to be a deck profile. I am going to showcase a deck just for purposes of showing things off and what the new combos are capable of. What I want to show you today is the absolute absurdity that Clockwork Knight brings into Scrap Recycler combos. A lot of people have been talking Telephone ever since this announcement, but as soon as I saw it, I knew it was a Scrap Recycler combo. And good lord, the things it is able to do now are insane. Now that we don't have to worry about Apollosa, we can do a lot more combos with Solantis. Uh, so we have some cool things to show you. I will eventually end up doing an actual Scrap Orcus deck profile with the new support of just Scrap Orcus, maybe like a Horus engine in there. I'm still working on tweaking that out and getting all the finer details. But like I said, today is just kind of a demonstration of how absurd these new combos can get. And I will finish off this intro by saying that this is probably going to be the last batch of TCG content that I do. I'm going to let Patrick take over that side of content for the channel. I'm going to be delving more into the Master Duel side of things because we like to have a little bit of variety here and really Master Duel is a lot more feasible for me given budget-wise and the fact that I don't have much of a local playgroup, so I think Master Duel is going to be the best fit for me personally, but I had to get in some more testing on EDO Pro with the announcement of these new cards, and I just, I had to show them off to you guys, so let's go ahead and get into the video without any further ado. All right, lads, so here is the deck in question. You can see that everything is just extremely recycler-based. We have all of these different combos, but this one just kind of allows you to do a little bit of everything. Like I said, I just wanted to show off, like, the extreme cases that this engine slash loop can provide basically like i said the entire combo line revolves around looping recycler just building up an end board it's not too insane of an end board at the moment because like i said i'm still testing around and messing with things this is just to show you once again the lengths to which these combo lines are able to go and we'll maybe open up some avenues for creative freedom in developing these combos because they're all still theoretical this changes everything about how i've played scraps before and causes me to think about all of this in a new light and before anyone goes down in the comments and say loses to nib this is still in early development there's not a lot here that has been um really tested and dove in into yet other than just seeing the extent of where things can go we're still working on testing resilience and things like that but as far as the nib argument goes there are a good number of decks that just lose to nibiru especially with no longer an apollosa baron or borload savage in the format so to bring up the argument that this deck loses to nibiru well yeah a lot of decks can lose to nibiru and everything is a lot more vulnerable now essentially unless you're playing cross out designator you don't have a whole lot of ways to deal with it so anyways that little rant being over let's get into a breakdown of this rough combo really quick so for most of these combos to work all you need is a scrap recycler in hand but as you can see we have a ton of different ways to get to scrap recycler we have three copies of him himself three copies of fossil dig three copies of scrapyard three copies of ground xeno three copies of scrap raptor and three copies of urgent schedule any of those cards get you into Scrap Recycler. Uh, also, Machina Redeployment does as well, but that requires a discard. All of the others are completely one card combos. So most of these will take probably a one and a half card combo. In this case, we actually have a good two card combo with Re uh, Recycler and Terraforming here. Terraforming allows us to get our Scrap Factory, which we do need for this combo. So we're going to go ahead and search that. I mean, we also had the Scrap Raptor in hand, so that's another way to do it as well. If you have Recycler, Raptor, that's two card combo. Raptor Factory is a two card combo. There are just so many number of two card combos in here. Like I said, I'm just showing kind of a rough line that will break down a lot of this stuff here. Now, the reason I'm going Raptor instead of Recycler for this first bit is because I do actually need Raptor later on in the combo for the specific build that you're seeing right now. A lot of cases you actually don't need it. It's just very nice. 
um, it, like I said, it's additional copies of Recycler is basically what it is. So now we're just going to go ahead and we'll add another Recycler because why not? It doesn't really matter. Uh, in this case, we have Bullet Train in our hand, so that's actually going to be pretty helpful. So we're going to summon the Golem here. We're going to go normal summon out our Scrap Recycler with the extra normal. Since we have a machine monster in our hand that is level eight or higher, we're going to go ahead and I know there's a lot of random one ofs in here. Like I said, I was just messing around, goofing off. Uh, so we're going to send the fortress here because that allows us to get rid of the bullet train. Other cases, you can go for a jet synchron or a Christron Rosenix, depending on if you need to get something out of your hand or if you just need the body. Either one of those works. So we're going to go ahead and go into our clockwork night now. And then from here, we can go Clockwork Knight to revive the Recycler by tributing off the Fortress. The best part about Clockwork Knight is that Recycler does not miss timing because it is the last thing to happen. So we get another dump for free. We're going to insulate ourselves here by sending the World Crown. I think I was supposed to have... Okay, I do have World Wand in here for the Orcus combo. So we actually have a lot of different lines that we can go with here. I think we're actually going to start by going Golem here, and we're going to get out a little bit of an early combo so let's special summon the raptor to our field here we have a level seven synchro this is where the raptor becomes nice because you can just make afd off of this which will allow us to destroy our field spell so we'll destroy the scrap factory here uh so this is more options you can go into you can go into a springins package you can go into an abc package like i said just the amount of things that this uh, engine that the scrap engine is now able to do are just insane so we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a b buster drake we have a special summon off of the ancient fairy dragon so we are going to make use of that and like i said you, this is only off of two recycler sends so far is where we're at so we're not even into the really insane stuff yet which is just absurd so we're gonna go ahead and go a assault core here at this point if we wanted to i could have uh actually at this point this will allow us to go springins merrymaker which gets our springins engine online as well so you can just see the uh, oh i meant to activate that but that's okay doesn't really matter too much like i said the variability in your combo lines now is just it's stronger than ever it really just is uh so i think in this case we'll actually go for watch would probably be better just because we don't have the gold Golgonda, but now I'm thinking about it, it's really not that great. We're just gonna fossil dig the deck fan a little bit because we can draw during our turns. Ooh, Xenometeorus is actually insane. Really helps a lot with uh, our combos. So let's go ahead now. We have the materials. Let's link off into our scrap wyvern finally. So this will be a further setup for more of our things. So we'll bring back Golem. We don't even need to pop the Golem to get a summon from deck. We can honestly, the Union Hanger, we're kind of done with. So we can just pop that. Uh, we can trigger the Xeno Meteoris, which is just a free special summon. It is a tuner, but that doesn't really ever come up. So that's fine. We'll summon back our Recycler here. And yes, I know that some of you are thinking this is just an absurdly in like ridiculous combo deck. And yeah, it kind of is. But again, this is just to demonstrate things. Like this is not meant to be a definitive way to play. This is purely just a showcase. Uh, so we're gonna dump the Harp Horror there because I did not go for the Citadel line. I did kind of goof up there, but that's that's okay. That's the thing is we can just kind of get a little crazy with some of our lines here and just do off the wall things that might not even make sense to be honest. So let's go ahead and link into our Zelantis here. Uh, not using Lib, we will legacy succession bring back golem bring golem back right here go ahead and golem effect bring back recycler and again you can just see <laughs> how many materials we're able to come up with while constantly sending cards from our deck to the graveyard like we can we can realistically send just about anything here let's get our c to get our abc set up here um because now we can oh man this is actually kind of a tough part here because we don't really have much that we can do at this point so let's go ahead we're gonna have to get rid of a card here but that's fine i think we could probably just leave the sargus banished i don't think he's necessary to this i mean really none of them are uh so let's do this 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 and of course the recycler again will not miss timing here so we get another dump off of it right now and if we get the Recycler off of our board, uh, then it's just even more free. All right, so let's get this back. We'll be able to get the Recycler here, and we do have the extra bodies, which is really going to help us. Uh, we already have Harp Horror. Let's see. Do we really need anything else? I think at this point we're sitting pretty good. Let's uh, let's send Rocky, because we can send Brothers as our next one, and be good to go there. So let's go ahead and now Link Summon. 
with these two. Go to our, uh, our swordsman here. Summon back the zero day. Oop, I did not mean to summon that to my opponent's field. I think that is fine, though. We honestly didn't really need it, and that helps us play around stuff like Evenly and Lightning Storm, so that's, that's fine. So we'll go ahead and go Recycler here, summon him back to our field. I guess we can just kind of treat the Rocky here as like our zero day. Uh, so we're going to send our brothers now, which will allow us to special the Rocky. Okay, special summon out Rocky here. And then now we can use Rocky's effect to add back the brothers, which gives us a pitch for our spring ends watch. So we can get our spring ends stuff online. Uh, well, I guess not really anymore because I don't have any more <laughs> exceed monsters. But if we did, you can see that that would be able to work there. Uh, so now we can go up into these guys again like we're just I, I'm not really detailing anything specific here because there is just so much going on and the infinite routes that are so much more possible with this deck now are just crazy uh, I did make a mistake by filling up my board though I will say that much I should have left a space open to be able to do orca stuff but that is fine uh, there was also supposed to be an SP in here but I think I just ran out of room so that's it is what it is so I guess we'll just make a turn one access code because why not because we can, you know, it's just it's just funnier that way. Uh, there was also supposed to be. Oh, that didn't even clear a space on my board. I'm just a goober. Well, that's fine. We'll just uh, ABC. Yeah. So the combo lines at this point are so convoluted that I can't even just like spit one out accurately. I mean, I'm on camera, so there's a little more pressure to it. I was testing a lot of stuff this morning and I was ending out with some pretty insane boards. I had the ABC Dragon Buster. I had the Z-Lantis with like four monsters co-linked. I had Lib, IP, uh, well now I only have four monsters left in my extra deck and they're all Orcus, which I can't get to because, again, I have a Goober, and this is just a 60 card pile that's not meant to be taken seriously at all. I just wanted to show how many times you can loop Recycler, and that was like probably the bare minimum. I definitely could have done a lot more with it. So like I said, there's a lot of different ways you can go with this deck and have fun with it and uh, be able to cook up some new ideas. So. If you guys come up with anything, or if you have any uh, other engines you might recommend with this sort of situation, let me know down in the comments. Like I said, this is all still kind of in development. I'm still cooking with it. And of course, we have a while before the Orcist and the Clockwork Knight support come out. So in the meantime, I'm just going to be doing some testing with this stuff and then also just playing around on Master Duel in general and having a good time. So I think that is all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'd love to see you here. If you guys enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. We always appreciate your support and your feedback. So again, let us know if there's any changes you guys think need to be made or any additions that would work well. Let me know down in the comments. I'm very excited to hear your thoughts. Now that'll do for today, lads. Thank you again for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. And as always, good fun. Have luck.